Hey, science guys, you want to alter some DNA? It'll probably be all right. So a couple of scientists were playing with the CRISPR tool. You know, you can edit some genomes. Cut a little DNA here, add a little DNA there, to try to make better hamsters. Ooh, it didn't work very well. So it turns out, they, this CRISPR tool, you can literally reprogram the DNA of animals, plants, people, pigs, just a little bit of anything if you want. Uh, it's generally considered to be illegal to do that to human DNA information in this country. Some other countries have different rules. I don't, I am not offering any kind of medical advice on this. I don't know anything about it. I'm just commenting on this story I saw in the New York Post. So what we got here, a gene editing experiment conducted on hamsters turned the adorable furry pets into aggressive little monsters. Okay then, so we got that. Now this CRISPR technology, they were trying to remove the hormone vasopressin and its receptor, AVPR1A. All very sciencey stuff. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I don't make any claims to be such things. I don't know anything about DNA technology. However, these scientists are experts in the field. And they still don't know what they're doing. So Northwest University, they use the controversial CRISPR technology. So what they did is they wanted to remove parts of their DNA and they were expecting that they would get increased cooperation between the critters. All right, cool. However, their hypothesis was completely wrong. We were really surprised by the results. One of the lead researchers said, we anticipated that if we eliminated the vasopressin activity, we would reduce both aggression and social communication. Oh, well, that seems like a pretty noble goal, but you got it wrong. Once Gene spliced, the hamsters exhibited high, high levels of aggression towards same-sex individuals, uh, regardless of sexuality or genotype. Oh, my. So the females got real angry with the females, and the males got real angry with the males. Um... Researchers said they chose to work with Syrian hamsters. Their social structure is similar to that of humans. Okay, now they chose Syrian hamsters because they're similar to humans. I do not want to speculate what they were trying to do. I'm going to let that sentence just play itself out. We, we don't understand this system as well as we thought we did. Okay, let's go back under... The I don't have any medical information about this. I'm not a doctor. I'm not. We're, we're going to look at this little hamster here while we talk about this. Not medical advice. This is not science advice. This is not advice of any kind whatsoever. This is my opinion on what they're doing with the gene splicing technology. <sighs> Truth be known, I, I don't know what they're doing. I'm not sure they know what they're doing. But if someone offers you gene modification therapy, just think about it. If these doctors that are experts in their field tried to do one thing but got the exact opposite, um, think twice about it. I, I'm, I'm not sure if, if you guys are familiar with any kind of gene therapy that's on the market now or if anyone's tried to offer some kind of things that alter your DNA or RNA or any of that stuff but they're not the technology isn't quite ready yet so um, you do what you want to do me I, I think I'll sit this one out so DNA is pretty complicated stuff I think they tried some DNA manipulations in that movie, Jurassic Park. But everything there worked out okay, right? Yeah. Just go ahead and subscribe real quick and then uh, go away. I'll see you tomorrow.